What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video gonna learn how to optimize your site performance and load speed using Slider Revolution WordPress plugin. I know that Slider Revolution is not the easier way to optimize your site because it you used to apply a lot of images on it, big images to look to make our sliders look nice. But let's learn how to optimize those images in order to have a performance WordPress website that ranks on page rank on Google, for example and still it's beautiful using all the tools that this amazing plugin offers. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in your tools, internet on our sites favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is navigate to your WordPress dashboard and find Revolution Slider WordPress plugin, okay? So into this section right here, let's start with the best and most relevant things to do. Right here, we can see models, news, general, globals, FA keys and support. And here is my slider. Independently of how many sliders you have right here, or even if you do not have a slider right here, let's go to globals, okay? And right here, we have a very important option, page loading optimization. Make sure that you set on in every single one of the options right here, okay? This can seriously optimize your slider loading speed. Then review the right side of my screen into the model optimization. Right here we have options, for example, right here, the full lazy load on models, click on smart, lazy load on background image, this is important, click on on, and use internal cache. If you already are using a cache plugin in order to optimize your WordPress website, no need to set this on, but if not, this is gonna help you a lot. So click on it. What else we can do? We can click on save global settings, okay? This is gonna take a moment. After this, we already started to optimize your slider, but there is more things to do. Now it's on the slider, okay? So clicking, hover your mouse over the slider, click into the pencil icon. This is gonna load up the slider content. And right here we can, for example, select one of those images right here, and we can see the option from the right sidebar of menus, if you screw down just a little bit, next to the image layer content, we can see lazy loading. Normally it's the full setting, but we can force lazy load if your image taking longer, it's really decreasing the site speed, okay? And how to know if the image is decreasing the site speed? There is platforms, for example, the GT metrics that can help you in order to understand what image is taking longer to loads. For example, we have Google Page, Google Page Speed Test and GT Metrics, okay? Go to there, find if it's happening and not, and do this change right here. And what else we can do? If you hover your mouse, once again, into the, left, into the right sidebar of menus, there is a save button. We're gonna see that it pops up a option called Optimize File Sizes. Click on it. This is gonna load this option right here that gonna open every single part of your slider that can take moments to load. And you can select options right here to optimize the speed of this, okay? So we can decrease the size of our slider, making it faster to load by changing the options right here. As you can see, we are saving a lot of space, as you can review, into this bottom green background column right here, banner right here. We are saving a lot of time right here, so we can click on save change. This is gonna optimize the, 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 the image, okay? This is an internal feature only for Revolution Slider uploaded image that can help you a lot as well. And after this, we can save the change on the slider. Now we can go back to our slider and right here we're gonna go back to globals okay and review once again into the model optimization this option right here force viewpoint loading okay so in the case that our slider is into the middle of your page this is gonna be help 
helping a lot. So make sure that you have this set as on, save your change, and you're gonna have an optimized slider, okay? And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to use an Lightspeed WordPress theme. Right here on Visual Moto, we have our Enzo WordPress theme that is completely free. You can install on your WordPress on WP Dashboard Appearance Team Z New. Search for Enzo, it's completely free. This theme is fully compatible with Revolution Slider WordPress plugin and it's lightweight speed. Okay, so as you can see, no. In addition, in the case that I want to see and gain better widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site, just install our Borders WordPress plugin that is free as well. Moreover, if you're running a blog and would like to submit your site to network of bloggers in order to receive guest posts, publish guest posts, and be listed right here like all of those bloggers already did, just go to growth3w.net and submit your site. It's completely free as well. And as a final note, in the case that I want to go premium in order to unlock access to our template library of pre-built type size that you can import with a single click, premium icons, premium assets, templates, blocks, and many, many more pro features. Just go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and go premium. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best.